Um, yeah, I got clear for the surgery. And I have a surgery date at this point. I'm not giving the date out. I'll say it's three. I'll say it's between three and six weeks from now. It's gonna happen sometime between three and six weeks from now. That's as much as I'll give people. The surgery will be in Mexico. I, I'm forced to stay there for uh, five days, so like there is no coming home early. So like um, I'm most likely just gonna be sitting in the hotel with like my iPad. It's actually probably going to be a very fucking boring trip. Alright, so that's the donations out of the way. Let's talk about Fallout 76. Sadly, Fallout 76 is a fucking MMO. Like, until I'm proven otherwise, that's what I'm going to consider it. Because that's what it is. And the reason it is, is because Fallout Se Fall Vault 76 was actually in Fallout 3. If you, it's on the terminal in the Brotherhood of Steels when you're actually looking for the Gek and where the whereabouts of the Gek, you learn that Vault 76 is actually a, uh, a control vault. Control vaults are vaults that don't have any side experiments in them at, at all. And they have around 500 occupants that are to be released out of the vault about 20 years after the bomb drops with a Gek in hand. So with that being said, we already know Vault 76 is a control vault. That's from Fallout lore. We know that everybody's going to be released from the vault at the same time, 20 years after the bombs drop. If you look at the Pip-Boy in the teaser trailer itself, the date on the Pip-Boy is October 27th, about 20 years after the bomb drops. The bomb dropped in, uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember. But, like, if you go look, there's 20 years from the time that the bombs fell. I think it's October 2077. So, and, um... And so, like, it was literally 20 years after the bombs fell in the timeline. So, like, that's 100% in line with Vault 77. The idea that you would name the Fallout game after the Vault leads itself to this. You know, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a massive open world where settlement building is actually going to be a thing, and it's going to be a multiplayer ma massive multiplayer online world or some t form of multiplayer game. It's not going to be your standard traditional Fallout game. I'm leaning towards it's going to be an MMO. And until they prove that otherwise, that's what I'm thinking it's actually going to be. Yes, yeah, 2077. And I, I think the I think the uh, I think the the thing on the card was I think the date on the thing was October 27th, 2107 or something like that, which is like what 25ish years, 25 years after the the bombs have fell. It's probably going to, if anything, it will follow the Elder Scrolls Online path of doing things. Where Elder Scrolls Online is right now will probably be where Fallout 76 will be after every, when everything's said and done when it first releases. Like, I'm super disappointed with it. Like, I'm not excited at all about this new Fallout game because it's not what I play Fallout for. I don't want to play Fallout with my friends. I don't. I want to play Fallout as a single player experience where I can live inside of a world. I'm sure somebody will get enjoyment out of it. And I'm, I'm sure my disappointment isn't going to be anything, but like this is fully expected. Interplay was actually supposed to create their own Fallout MMO, but their time ran short because they didn't have the money to produce the thing. So Bethesda got the rights back. And Bethesda short charged Oblivion, I mean Obsidian. Uh, because Obsidian wanted to do another like New Vegas-like sequel with the Fallout 4 engine, and they approached Bethesda to do it, and Bethesda told them no. So, like, the next Fallout game in this lineup is going to be that MMO thing. And it'll probably be the last Fallout game until Elder Scrolls 6, most likely. So, like, for me, this just is a, it's a death warrant stating that, hey, you're not going to get another Fall Fallout 4 is going to be the main Fallout game for a while. Unless you want to play some massive multiplayer world where you get like one bottle cap for every fucking mob that you kill. And they sell you things like, I don't know, gun silencers, 20,000 bottle caps or some shit. Remember the horse fiasco in Elder Scrolls? Like, just because you put a Fallout skin over a pile of dog shit doesn't make me happy to have it. So that's my Fallout 76 discussion. I mean, like, some people might think I'm wrong, some people might think I'm right, but like... I don't think it'll flop. I think it's going to sell. They had 150,000 people showed up to watch a fucking screen of, like, the Please Stand By. 
motherfuckers won't fall out. And mother that that won't for fallout's gonna make motherfuckers buy shit they probably won't like. Nah, the shit's gonna sell. Will the community stay up? No. Am I gonna buy it? All depends on depends if I'm wrong or not. If I'm wrong and it's a, it's a single player game that just happens to to name itself after a vault, sure, I'll buy it. But if it's a, if it's an MMO like Elder Scrolls, nah. Nah, it's not for him. That shit is so not getting bought. <laughs> oh, by the way, ban anybody that has a spoof of my name, please. If it's wings of anything, just ban them. If you think Twitch needs to ban me, just fucking leave, dude. Honestly, you don't have to sit here and watch my stream if you don't agree with how I stream. Uh, ban anybody that wants to relay messages, too. We're going and stopping that too. I'm not backing out of the surgery, dude. I, I'm t I've been honest with you 100%. Man. Like, did I drag my feet getting the surgery? Sure, I dragged my feet. But, like, at the same time, I'm scared of it. But, like, I'm not backing out. Yeah, there's cancellation fees, there's hardcore. Like, I got, it, it, was, it was a $500. Um, I had to, you got to put down $500 to get the surgery. In the books, and I gotta pay the entire amount a week before the surgery. So, like in like two weeks, I might have to shell out like six grand, and like I can't get that money back after I pay it. So, like if I don't go, I six grand down. I'm not showing you guys anything. You'll see I got the surgery with the videos that I make during the during during the during the process. That's your proof. See, like I said, nobody's ever fucking happy. Nobody's ever fucking happy. People complain, oh, you're, you're not getting a surgery. Boo, 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 boo. I'm getting the fucking surgery. Surgery's already scheduled. It's happening. That's happening. Now you're complaining that I'm not getting the bypass instead of the other thing. Well, the bypass has a lot more serious complications that come with it. Lifelong complications. You're more likely to be anemic if you have a bypass. I don't want to have a permanent solution. Like, I want to eventually one day be a normal human being again. I'm getting the gastric sleeve. It's the most common weight loss surgery. It's the one that almost everybody gets. And the gastric and the gastric sleeve has a 90% success rate. 90% of the people that get the gastric sleeve lose the fucking weight. I have to put effort in. Like, I've been on this fucking diet for five days now. You guys just aren't, you guys just bitch to bitch, dude. Like, you seriously do. If I'm part of the 10% that fail, I, I'm the part of the 10% that fail. Hell, I didn't have to cut her. Like, you know, you, you, you know how to be a 100% chance of failure? Not trying. Not trying is a 100% chance of failure. Uh, Bloodlust, I don't give a shit, man. Uh, Barry, Tijuana Bariatrics knows exactly how to reach me with phone number and with email. Like, people doing this are just trying to fuck with me. Like, what? what ha they're hoping that Tijuana Bariatrics turns me away and I get cold feet and don't want to go somewhere else so they can laugh and point. Like, you scam money out of people when I'm trying my hardest to get what I took donations in for. Like, it's just shitty people being shitty people. That's what that is. All right, can we quit talking about the troll channels, please? Thank you. I'm so sick of this situation, guys. A bloodlust. I I've never talked to Gar Dr. Garcia. I sent an email out to Tijuana Bariatrics to let them know that people are calling and prank calling them. It's fucking childish, dude. It really is. Like, just leave me the fuck alone, guys. Like, honestly, leave me the fuck alone. You claim you want me to get this surgery, and now you're fucking with one of my routes to get the surgery. Well, people are saying is happening. Matter of fact. Let me just call them. Uh, they, she says she's never been prank called. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an MMO. This is the teal deer. It's going to be an MMO. I'm not really interested in it. Um, the chance that it's not going to be an MMO is very, very slim. 
I go into full detail about why I think it's going to be an MMO and like talk, talks about interplay and how they had license to make an MMO that expired and how Obsidian wanted to make another Fallout, like New Vegas type sequel with the Fallout 4 engine and blah, 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 blah. No, it's early bedtime because I'm not eating a whole lot, so I'm, sleep I'm sleepy all the time. It's either going to be an MMO or another one of those stupid-ass games.